And this is what I want to awaken you to, that the world continues to change because of this technology called blockchain technology. And these are the four reasons why everybody's saying blockchain technology will be the future of technology all around the world. The first reason is the growth. We've seen an intensified growth and interest within blockchain technology. Within the growth, the reason why it grew is because it's a distributed record of transactions, meaning anywhere from around the world can contribute and work on it. I recently had the opportunity to work with the Bill Gates Foundation in the United States of America, and they built a platform called Moja Loop. And what this platform is, it allows communication systems from financial companies and governments to communicate with one another. Now, Bill Gates sat down and said, how do we solve the issue of the 1.7 billion unbanked people all around the world? How do we ensure that we include them within the financial systems? He realized that in certain financial systems, people who were wealthy and had wealth investments accounts, etc., were not paying any fees. But those that were poor and sat at the end, they were paying the highest fees. And the question began to say, how do we get these systems to work together? And this is when this blockchain system was created to say, we're able to actually get communication to speak to one another from different systems and actually get to the end result. The second reason is the ease. It's an easy mechanism to use. It allows users to securely transfer assets anywhere around the world. You could be in China and you could send me digital currency and I'll receive it within a second. Whereas if you wanted to send me perhaps the Chinese currency, it would have to go through systems and I'll perhaps get it after 14 days. If you wanted to send money to someone in Angola, you could send it to them and they would receive it within seconds. It's so simple to use that in Kenya, they've introduced BitPesa, where people are now able to buy electricity, airtime, etc. using digital currency. The, fourth, the third reason is the technology behind it. The fact that blockchain technology is programmable, meaning we're able to actually add on to transactions. For example, if you wanted to pay someone in China to build a website for you, there are many issues that you could come across in terms of paying that person. You could ask yourself, how can I trust this person? What if they don't deliver? What if they take my money and run away? But with blockchain technology, we have something called a smart contract, where within the contract or the agreement that you actually make, you can put the money in an escrow account. In this day and age, you'd actually put it with a lawyer, but you could actually do it within that transaction that you're doing to program it. Meaning, you could say, if I'm building a house and I want somebody to build me a house, upon them building the foundation, and then verifying that the foundation has been built, this smart contract will automatically pay them the amount for the foundation. When they get to the second phase, it would pay them that amount for the second phase. I don't know if everybody's understanding me, but what, what, what that generally means is that we can get rid of so many middlemen that over the years have said, I'm here to transact for this, I'm here to transact for that, and at the end of the deal, the consumer themselves get very little because along the way, there were so many middlemen. And lastly, security. Blockchain technology, believe it or not, till date, is unhackable. Now, a lot of the people have been saying that, what then do we hear of when we hear that somebody's been hacked? We hear that somebody's details have been hacked. But the blockchain technology system, the record of transactions, is unhackable. Meaning it actually stays there forever.